Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice math problem, which is 27 raised to the power of 3 raised to the power of x minus 2. This is equal to 3. So what is the value of x given that x is not equal to 0? So let's prevent the solution from here. So our, the problem is 27 raised to the power of 3 raised to the power of x minus 2. This is equal to 3. We can express 27 as 3 to the power of 3. Let's substitute this so that we have 3 to the power of 3 raised to the power of 3 raised to the power of x minus 2. This is equal to 3. Now, you find that 3 to the power of 3 raised to the power of 3 raised to the power of x minus 2. This is in the form of a to the power of n raised to the power m which we can express as a to the power of n times m. Applying this exponent property from here, this implies that we have 3 to the power of 3 times 3 raised to the power of x minus 2. This is equal to 3. Now, here we have this is 3 raised to the power of 1. Now, from the powers here, 3 to the power of 1, times 3 to the power of x minus 2. This is in the form of a to the power of n times a to the power of m, which we can express as a to the power of n plus m. Applying this exponent property, then we have a 3 to the power of 3 raised to the power of 1 plus x minus 2 this is equal to 3. So that now, here we have 3 to the power of 3 raised to the power of, this is 1, plus x minus 2, which we can express as x minus 1. This is equal to 3. Remember, 3 is raised to the power of 1. So we have the basis here. The bases are common here. That is a to the power of n. This is equal to a to the power of m. Given that the bases are common here, that is exponent n is equal to m. Now, this implies that from what you have here, that 3 to the power of x minus 1, this is equal to 1. The next step is that we can express, remember if you have a to the power of 0, this is the same thing as 1. So we can express this 1 in the term of 3 to the power of 0, this is the same thing as 1. So this implies that here we have 3 to the power of x minus 1, this is equal to 3 to the power of 0. Since the bases are common here, applying this exponent property, exponent n is equal to m. This implies that x minus 1, this is equal to 0. And this implies that x is equal to 1. So the value of x is equal to 1. The next step is to verify that this value of x satisfies the equation from here. Now let's verify that the value of x which is equal to 1 satisfies the equation. Now if you recall from here, we have that 27 raised to the power of 3 raised to the power of x minus 2. This should give us a value of 3. So we can express 27 as 3 to the power of 3. So we have 3 to the power of 3 raised to the power of 3, then raised to the power of x, which is actually 1, minus 2. This is supposed to give us a value of 3. So here we have 3 to the power of 3, raised to power 3, raised to power of 1 minus 2, this is minus 1, this is equal to 3. This should give us a value of 3. 
The next step is that if you're given if you are given a to the power of minus n, this can be expressed as one over a to the power of n. So let's apply this property so that now here we have three to the power of three raised to the power of one over three. This should give us a value of this should give us a value of three. Therefore, from here we have three to the power of three raised to the power of one over three. This should give us a value of three. Now, three to the power of three times a third. This is in the form of a to the power of n raised to the power m, which we can express as a to the power of n multiplied by m. Applying this exponent property, then we have three to the power of three times one over three. This is supposed to give us a value of three. So three and three here simplifies so that now we have three. This is equal to three. So this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this implies that the value of x, which is equal to one, satisfies the equation. So kindly follow the steps, like this video, and subscribe. See you in the next video.